What's going on guys, welcome back to LOI Fan TV. In today's video we're going to be doing our 30 second predictions ahead of this weekend's games in the League of Ireland. A couple of massive, massive games coming up and a big weekend of course in the first division as well. Going to be taking you through all of that good stuff as well. So yeah, make sure to like the video if you do go on to enjoy it and do subscribe if you are new around here. The 30 second format is just to make it kind of a quicker, easier watch for you lot. I hope you do enjoy. We're going to start off our video with Rohada United who play host to St. Patrick's at Athletic Drogheda and um, had a disappointing result last weekend of course losing to Waterford 1-0 and that kind of put an end to their it was already kind of an outside shout that they would get Europe it was always a bit of a stretch newly promoted side and all that it's been a fantastic season for Drogheda so that loss to Waterford kind of put an end to those hopes and similarly St. Patrick's Athletic had a disappointing result their title challenge came to an end more or less as they lost 1-0 at home to Shamrock Rovers in the last second of the game a really tough one to take for them St. Pat's will have to keep a bit of an eye over their shoulder but I think they do have second place more or less wrapped up at this stage I'm going to go for a narrow away win I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for St. Patrick's Athletic next up we have Finn Harpsy play host to Dundalk a massive massive game in Bally Buffet a win for either side is a massive massive step towards safety for whichever side it ends up being both of them are off the back of fantastic results last weekend Finn Harps of course picking up a win against Bohemians whereas uh, Dundalk of course beats Sligo Rovers 4-1 the Michael Duffy news that broke yesterday is a bit of a killer below for Dundalk a bit of a morale killer around the ground and for the fans for the players this is a bit of a blow and um, for, for everyone involved really and yeah it's going to be it's going to be a tough tough night for them in Donegal I can see both sides cancelling each other out to be perfectly honest with you I'm going to go for I'm tempted to go for a stalemate nil nil, but I go for a one one, a little bit more excitement. We go to Tala next, where Shamrock Rovers play host to Derry City, and this is another game that's extremely tough to call. Uh, Shamrock Rovers will of course be buzzing after their late win against St Pat's. Obviously, the title is more or less in they've one hand on the trophy basically, but they can't lose sight of that now. They're not in the cup, they've no distractions. I think they'll go full steam ahead now in the league. Whereas Derry, for them, I think on and off the pitch, they're in a really really good place, and um, they're building towards a really really exciting 2022 season Patrick McAnally um, Michael Duffy as I mentioned before has signed up there's rumours of a Georgie Kelly signing as well a couple of really really nice rumours and I think they could have a massive massive season next year can they add European football to that for next season already uh, it would really be the icing on the cake for them I do see Shamrock Rovers winning this game very very narrowly mind you but I do see Rovers doing it in their typical fashion 1-0 Shamrock Rovers win Longford Town versus Bohemians are next up on the list here here and Bohemians are doing everything they possibly can not to qualify for Europe it seems their last two results haven't gone to plan losing to Finn Harps and Dundalk and honestly it's just such a shame to see Bohemians bottling European football like this <laughs> Longford of course are still putting up a really really good fight down the bottom obviously they're gone already but they won't make it easy for Bohemians in this one I do see Bows having too much for Longford in this game I'm going to go for a 2-0 away win finally in the Premier Division we have Sligo Rovers playing host to Waterford a massive game for both sides once again in the Premier Division a cracking cracking game this could be the tie of the round in terms of how important it is for both sides really really desperate for points different ends of the table different objectives for the campaign but still both really 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 um, need the points in this one Sligo will be disappointed with their performance against Dundalk of course they will 4-1 defeat is disappointing from them and I do fancy Waterford to nick something here part of me is saying 1-0 Waterford to run away with all three points but I'm going to go for a share of the spoils I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw and I feel like it would be a miss not to jump down into the first division briefly enough of course, Shelburne are just one win away from the league title and promotion back to the top flight. They play host to a very, very tough Treaty United side who themselves are looking for promotion this season, albeit through the playoffs. The Shells have actually failed to beat Treaty so far this season. They drew 2-2 um, early on in the season at Talker Park and they actually drew 1-1 in Limerick as well. Treaty have actually kept clean sheets in their last three fixtures, so this is going to be a very, very difficult game for Shells. But of course, I do predict Shelburne to pick up a very, very narrow, hard fought 1-0 win tomorrow to secure the first division title and promotion back to the big time back where we belong and this time we're here to stay hopefully thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really did enjoy make sure to drop a like on the video down below and please do subscribe it is much much appreciated we are on the road to 3k all your support genuinely means the world to us thank you so much for watching enjoy the games this weekend guys and i'll see you next week catch us in a bit